Ask Tom on Home Show. Harry from Bel Air, Texas has a question about cooling his garage. This is his two-car garage of which he speaks, Ooh, Tom. Ooh, extension cord city. I like that. I like this guy. and I like how they're all tied up nice and neat. And look at those uh-huh. nice stacked boxes. A garage Very my nice. wife could love. All right. Harry <laughs> writes, go. you can... You can see it has felt paper and studs for interior walls. Yep. The ceiling is studs open to the roof and no insulation, no sheetrock. And, and I want to use the garage as a workshop, he says, in the summertime. But obviously it gets too hot. If I install a mini split AC, should I insulate as well? What say you? I would not insulate it, but here's the problem he's going to have. Harry, listen to me. I have the same thing. It was open studs. Now, I put pegboard over the walls because I wanted to finish it out. You might not care about finishing the walls, so leave them as they are. But where you're really going to run into trouble cooling this thing is because there's so much cubic feet of air in there is the attic area. I would recommend, if you could, to put just some kind of ceiling on the bottom of those ceiling joists. I used 3 8 plywood and I put lattice strips where the joints came together to make it look nice. But I would do something where you can contain the box so when you're in there working and you want it to be cooled, uh, then you won't have, it won't work so hard. You won't need such a, uh, you won't need that much, you won't meet, need so much air conditioning capacity and tonnage. You can knock it down a little bit because that can get to you. If you leave it all open like that, fine, don't insulate. A radiant barrier would not be a bad idea, though, if the sun's beating on it. And I, like I did with mine, you can spray the underside of the roof decking. That will help tremendously. And being all open like that, it's going to be really easy to do. Just cover everything on the floor of the garage with plastic before you do it so it doesn't get all on your stuff. And you're probably moving that stuff out anyway because it's going to be your workshop. But as far as that goes, make sure you have enough to cool it. Cool it when you want to. When you're not in there, turn it off like I do with mine. And it really makes a lot of difference when you want to go. Just to give you an example, uh, when you want to work in there. Uh, An example, I have a two-car garage. I have a ton and a half cooling in that two-car garage, which is about 650 square feet. So that's more than you would need with a ton and a half. But it cools down fast, and I turn it off when I don't use it. It's not energy efficiency. It's total beautiful karma area where you can go and do your work and be comfortable wow yes i had no idea in life i live that life that is my life <laughs> and 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 apparently harry wants to live it as well but the i uh, like it you know i have that issue even in and not even in a garage like you're talking about like this mm-hmm. you know i have an improved office at home that's over the garage and it's well I insulated do. and all that but in the back, there's a there's a closet in the back, and it's insulated and all that. But when I leave that closet door open back there, that room heats up just like that because because the the AC gets sucked up in there, and it's not as insulated as the rest of the space. And that's where we get back to the capacity was a word I was kind of lost with there a minute ago. But uh, you need extra capacity in spaces like that it's okay it actually people say well if it's bigger it costs so much more it doesn't it actually costs you less because you use it less it cycles it will cycle less uh so it's not that it's going to be using a bunch more electricity or a lot more electricity it is that you're going to be comfortable and you're not making that thing run because charlie maybe sometimes you're finding that it's got to crank it a little bit longer to make you comfortable in there and that's costing you more money in the long run it's I like to be comfortable. Actually I I agree. My home office, I I yes. air condition that thing down to like sixty eight, sixty six degrees. It's cold in there. Because I that's the temperature I like to work at when I'm writing and doing the things that I do in my office at home. And um and it also makes it Nothing wrong with less that. hospitable to people who grew up in the Texas area, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Well, energy efficiency yep. is making it the comfort that you want. And if that's what you want, Charlie, that's what you want. When I go to bed at night, I put it down 69, 68 degrees. I want to be comfortable. And it's, so it's the greatest comfort for each individual at the lowest cost. It's not how cheap can you make it and be miserable. That's not what energy efficiency is. Tom, about. help you make the right choices. 
and we can help you click on the Ask Tom button, fill out the form. You can send us a video or you can send us a question in writing. And if you do, either way, you're going to wind up at this form right here where you can uh, attach a picture, which helps us. Like, you know, it helped us understand what was going on in uh, Harry's Bel Air garage. It'll help us do a better job for you, too. And that's why we post a new one of these every day at our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, of course, at homeshowradio.com.